welcome back to Pioneer Playtest. This is a game called Felix the Reaper. It uh, just came out on October 17th, so today as I'm recording this. I'm not sure what I think of it just yet. It is a puzzle game. Looks like there's only five acts. Um, I'm still on act one. We'll dive into that. I won't do the tutorial again, but I will start here with level two, assignment two, um, and we'll, we'll discuss the quirks of it. Felix is an interesting character. He so far is my favorite part of it. He is a reaper who has this, to other reapers, annoying quirk of dancing everywhere. Uh, he always has some headphones on. He dances as he moves. Um, he's also in love which is kind of a taboo thing for Reapers. The um, traffic is terrible. The Ministry of Life televisors are a nuisance, jamming up the space-time continuum. We have to... Oh! Here we are. Welcome, Felix. Now, let's do it properly this time. Always check out what happened when time froze. Ah, that's for me. I have to get on with other things, you know. Every level starts out sort of like this. You see the, the, the victim or victims. Okay, so our assignment is to kill the deer. All right. Uh, because the, on the tutorial level, we we took this guy back here in the corner, this dude on the right, and put him in the path of the spear, and that got us in trouble because uh, he wasn't supposed to die. So this is the, the what each play space looks like. It'll, it'll be a, you know a grid like this. Felix, man, sitting here dancing. He's a he's an entertaining character nonetheless. And then because video game reasons dictate, uh, he cannot step outside of the shadows. He, he cannot be in the sun. So he has to only move on the shadowed bits, right? So that's your your big gameplay mechanic here, right? And it lets you do this. It lets you preview what it's going to look like when you move, right? So we're going to want to move forward one block and then move, right? And then we're going to move over here. Move it again. Go over here, grab the deer. Got the deer. All right, we're going to move back to here. I think it's going to bebop his way over here. I'm going to move the sun again. Run over here. And then we're going to put the deer down right there. Seems simple, right? Like... You just do that. Can't hold you back at the end of each assignment. You can't expect to run into her at every turn of events. At least expire the right human first, then maybe. Now get in there. Right, let me see. Time unfreezes. <laughs> and that deer eats it. The spear throw. <laughs> just took its head right off. Great work, and everything went according to plans and regulations. Just lovely. This Pretty sure that's Patrick Stewart. Up proud. It really does. I believe he'll be fine on his own now. I will only be checking in every so often. Yeah, they want you to do it in 36 seconds. It very quickly, though, gets hard. And that's where I'm hung up on it, because, like, I like it. Art's annoying. to get to the deer head, right? So, 
First things first, we need to activate the switch. Alright. Then we need to move... Where's my movement cursor? Oh, where is it? Out there. Alright. We need to move here? No, we need to move here. Alright, then we move here. Grab ourselves the deer head. Move back here. Out of the deer head. Phoenix does his little dance. Gets back in the elevator. Now we go. There's a uh, drawing of the lady that is in love with. Big old dominatrix lady. This load bar needs... I agree. I don't know how to do that. Stop. There for now. This is as far as I figured out is is this set of levels here, so. After this, I'm pretty much. All right, so I need to be right there. No, I don't need that. I, you know, for the life of me, ever since I started playing the Nintendo Switch, can never figure out exactly what button I need to push. Boom, got his beer. So it's really cute and fucking charming and everything. Like I, I like it a lot in in that aspect in that regard. But like, you'll see in the next level, it's sometimes extremely frustrating. Like maybe I'm just not seeing it right. That dude is gonna kill that other guy. Yeah, somehow you're supposed to do it in 17 or less actions. Like, mm, don't know, don't know how you can do that.
So every level scorecard tells you how many times you're caught in the sun, how the sun, how to it. You know, there's it's that sort of thing. You know, if you're geared that way towards um, you know that sort of stuff, this this game's gonna be perfect for you. But this level here just frustrated the piss out of me. And I was like, all right, this is a good level to stop at, go back and record the Polynerd playtest. So you can see some levels where I figured it out and I know what I'm doing. All right, and so there's our assignment. We need to put the rocks in the barrel. All right. So the rocks are over here. We need to get them. So, we know. Let's do what we know, right? Let's go get the rocks. All right, we'll move that. We'll get the rocks. Pick these guys up. Go back. I don't know why I chose to set them down. I did not mean to do that. All right, put them here. Put the rocks on the switch. All right, that'll move the horse guy. All right, all right. So now we've got that covered, which means I believe yes, we can get these. All right, little Felix getting down, and then. So I obviously need to move. I need to get to those branches. Ah, why to do that? Okay, that's what happens when you get hit with the sun. It hurts you. It counts against you. It hurts your score. Oh, you can't throw him over there. Damn it, Felix. All right, can we put him there? All right, I'll put him there. That doesn't help me in that regard. All right. I need to get to there. Felix, you're free. All right, so we'll put this here. I'll drop them here, maybe? Nope, 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 nope. I didn't do it for us, did it? I'm here. Ah, shit. Oh, that didn't work, did it? Now, if he could move diagonally, it would be golden. You know? See, I was one of the cart moves. Puzzle games are not my forte. Alright, so when we move this alright. Okay, we're covered there. Okay. Grab those. Them there. Figuring it out. It's taking a little longer than we'd like. All right? Come down here for a second. Keep that there. There. Okay, 
right, so we'll come down here and get the rocks. Put them here. We're, gonna, we're doing this really horribly as far as like time goes, right? Like, okay, so we'll drop the rocks. The uh, <laughs> camera is a little, a little finicky. So we need to be right there, right? All right, so we'll put the rocks here. Put the bundle of sticks right here. All right. Oh yeah, that's got us. We're there now. We figured it out. Move right here. Move the sun. We can get these rocks in that barrel. Oh, Felix getting the job done. This is a remarkably uh, complex way of going about killing people. Yeah, we took about four times longer than suggested. Uh, we doubled the actions taken. Uh, we've caught the sun three times. No stamp this time. Mm. All right, so now we'll do the final, final thing here. So jump, jump, switch. Visiting retirement homes. That's dark. That's dark. This game describes itself as a romantic comedy, though. I think that's interesting. A lot of games don't make that... That claim. Drink, gonna fall against the wall. So the deer's gonna fall on him and kill him, huh? If we do this right. Okay. So our goal is simply to what? What is our goal here? To get over there? Do we want to put the beer on the ramp? Is that what is that what we're looking at here? I think that's it. I think that's our goal. Get the beer on the ramp. So first things first. We Well if I'm turn this on, I'm okay. But I can't stand on it forever. Yeah. What are we doing, game? I take the barrel off. But I can. No, I cannot. Oh, there we go. It let me do it that time. All right. So we're gonna move back here. Pretty sure we're safe here. Yes, we are. For the time being, we'll put you here. No, tell me. You put that there. I said the uh, controls are a little finicky and then it doesn't help that I can't decipher what the uh, the A and B and X and Y buttons placement because of the the uh, darn Nintendo Switch Let's 
turn the camera here. Put you right here. Alright, we're gonna grab you. Put you here. Grab you. Put you there. Alright, grab you. Turn the camera, or turn the sun rather. I'm gonna put the that there. Uh, then we're gonna come back here. Wrong button. I'm dumb. I got it. Ooh, this is an interesting conundrum here. Cause I need that over there. We not. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me look at that again. When I do this, I'm out of the sun. They're just not. Okay, that's interesting. What do we got here? So, I need to not be in the sun, obviously. there for now. That's not gonna work either. Darn. Hmm. This is where the game gets frustrating. Because I feel like I'm staring, and I am staring, the solution right in the face. But I cannot figure it out. Mm. 
Because I need to get right there. And if I move... Branches. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, the barrel might keep the, the horse at bay, right? Let's see. Did I figure this out? I hope I figured it out. Make me feel real SMRT. Yes, it can't move, all right. That's my solution here. theory here real quick. There's way too many moves, but I think I figured it out here. Be happy. Twitch feed. Stop working. Oh, he's. <laughs> I think accident. Ooh. Nice Alfred Hitchcockian music, man. That's pretty close to Hitchcock's music. In my opinion, yeah. Let's see, we turned the sun about three times more than they wanted us to. We took 53 actions when they want us to do 14. They think you can do it in 50 seconds. You might be able to, but I can't. So that's the first like chapter of the game. I'm still not certain what to think of it. Um, like it, it, I mean, it came out all right. Oh, there's Betty there on the left. Let's see what the second chapter holds for us. So instead of the horse and buggy, a three-wheel thing. Like the ones that are all over uh, that one Far Cry game. There's our target, huh? Is his name Bert? Yeah, it's Bert. <laughs> Good lord. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. He's just gonna get down for a minute here. He's a happy looking fella. Oh, we can pick 
up. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, got me. I got SOL here, aren't I? Oh, well, other than the, the barrels that I'm holding in my hands, right? Put it down in a really bad spot, though. Just come here and grab it. Why do we... Why, why did we do that? Can only pick it up from that side, huh? Oh, that would be why he did that. Out the light. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop here. This is enough of a look at this game. Um, it's free on Game Pass right now. I think it's like 25 bucks or something like that on other platforms. Um, I do not have my cell phone handy or I would, I would tell you for certain. Where the heck is my cell phone? Found it. Give me just a moment here. Watch, watch old Felix bust a move and I'll, uh, I'll tell you how much it costs. And what platforms it's on. Felix the Reaper. It's on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. I don't know if that is like I don't know if it's an Epic exclusive or if it's on Steam or whatever, but uh, it's on everything. And let's get a look at the price. $24.99. That's a $25 game. Um, if you're into puzzle games, it's definitely going to be your jam. Uh, if you're into quirky nonsense, it might be your kind of thing, too. Uh, it's something I'm going to come back to. You know, it's... Uh, it's interesting enough that I'm going to you know keep taking stabs at it. You know, as, as it... Uh, as I come to come, you know, have things to do, you know, um, or excuse me, have nothing else to do. You know, I'm juggling a lot of games right now. Um, stuff that's old, mostly stuff that's been on my, uh, bucket list or game list or whatever you want to call it. Gaming bucket list. Um, while I wait on other stuff, you know, next week's got some big releases, but if you're into this kind of thing, and you have dollars or X, X bass, cause that's, that's why I'm playing it right now. It's uh, on the 17th today as we record it and uh i was like that okay i got i've seen stuff about it i've heard stuff about it let's give it a look ourselves and i think it's cute uh in its own way um and as i said certainly worth a look but uh that's gonna do it for me thank you for watching make sure you like follow and subscribe poly nerdic on youtube on facebook on twitter um, instagram yep Good old regular old uh, pineark.com. Also, I'd like to guarantee you that you won't be disappointed, but I, I can't make that guarantee <laughs> uh, for you. I think we do good work and are worth checking out. So make sure you check us out and uh, yeah, put that down. Um, and I will see you next time when we uh, stream something else, whatever that may be.